is a, a place that me and my family went as a child. It's where we go to get lost in another world and share the experience with the world. The entire theater was filled. It was like it was hard to even get a seat. But now many movie theaters are rolling the credits for the last time. People are staying home, watching online. It's just not the same feel as like this smell of movie popcorn, you know, the, the reclining seats and everything. It's sad. It's sad to see it go. And everything's changing. Oh, you betcha. Movie lovers in two communities are going to have to find a new place to watch their new favorite flicks. The AMC Theater in Solon closed just days ago as ticket sales nationwide struggle to get back to pre-pandemic levels. Chagrin Cinemas are showing their final movies this weekend after more than three decades. But News 5 anchor Katie Houston found out finances have nothing to do with their closing. When Nick Peterson goes to work, it's like he's going home. He first started at Chagrin Cinemas his senior year of high school in 2000. An old aerial photo of the building from that time hangs in the lobby. And right there, if you can see it, is actually my car when this photo was taken. It's an old 1988 Ford Escort hatchback. He was at work that day as an usher and in concessions. Never thinking that I would necessarily run this place one day. Nick is now the general manager of Chagrin Cinemas, but his tenure is ending. As fate would have it, right where it began for him as a child when the theater first opened in November of 1989. That opening weekend, I was here with my brother. He took me to see The Little Mermaid. <laughs> and it actually, in this auditorium is where I watched it. No. Yes. Be it the smell of the popcorn, the company, or the action on the big screen, generations of memories have been made at Chagrin Cinemas. I'm really sad to see it go. Um, I'm sad that theaters all around the country are closing. It's sad. It's sad to see it go. Plus, we just found out the one in Solon's going, too. We still like getting out and seeing a movie and a big screen yeah. with a sound system and everything. So it's a, it's a night out for us. Chagrin Cinemas closes for good this Sunday after more than 30 years in this community. And Nick says this is not because business wasn't doing well. In fact, he says things had been going great. Last winter, 2001, 2002, was very great for us. This past summer was probably our busiest summer um, ever. The property that the theater sits on was sold. They're the tenant of the building and operated the movie house that turned into a home. And for Nick, saying goodbye to it and the magic they made here is devastating. How will you remember Sugar and Cinemas? Man, that is very tough. <laughs> He says the real stars of this show have always been the staff and moviegoers, and he's forever grateful to both. Honestly, I, I think I've kind of said most of it, but the real thing is just thanking the community for all these years. Katie Usen, News 5.